What is going on YouTube? I know it's been a minute if you're a subscriber, but these last few months have just been gross with weather. I'm also under contract to buy a house. I've been dealing with that, but I've had a couple issues with my truck. This video in particular is gonna be focused about one of them, and I'm also gonna have another video drop after this one with my other problem I had. So my first problem I noticed was I had like a burning smell when I was idling coming through like the AC vents and I was at a car wash one day and I looked out and popped my hood and I could see smoke coming from the back of the block. I'm like, oh, well, that's not good. So pretty much what's happening is you have a vacuum pump back there on the back of the block and it's it's got a sort of a seal on the back and it's dripping onto the cat and then the oil is burning and causing the smoke. So I've got my old part here. I'm gonna pop the hood and show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is your vacuum pump. So this is my old one. Um, it sits on the, I'll show you in the back in a second. It sits on the back of the block, just like this standing upright. And pretty much this little seal, this black seal around it will fail. And then as you can see all that oil that came off, it's been dripping down at the bottom. That's what causes the smoke. So it drips off of the pump onto the catalytic converter. And then that ignites and causes the white smoke. So when I pop the hood, I was seeing, you'll see smoke come from this back corner. Um, so the vacuum pump sits right behind these two little hoses up at the top. Uh, it's three eight millimeter bolts. I'm not gonna lie, I had, since my other issue, I had multiple issues, I just, I bought the parts and just took it to a shop to have them install it. But like I said, I'm really busy right now. I just didn't have the time to do it. But this is also a really pain in the butt to do. So unless you want to cuss yourself out, I recommend just dropping off at the shop. The mechanic also even told me that it was a disaster getting that off and he hurt himself pretty bad with a bunch of other cuts. So as you can see, I mean, it was, this thing was leaking pretty bad. I'm assuming it came from right there in that corner and also right there where the gas, where the uh, sealant was. But this is a very common problem on this generation F-150. So if you think that's where your smoke's coming from, I mean, the best way to do it is to put, take off that cover, reach back, and you'll be able to feel oil back there. And you'll like, oh, okay, so that's probably what it is. But definitely, if you have smoke coming from that back corner, it smells like oil's burning, you pop the hood, you see some white smoke back there, that is probably your vacuum pump. So I did take a pretty good gamble with this. Like, I didn't know for sure that was a problem, but... Thankfully, that's what it was. No more smoke, no more leaks. I just wanna make this quick little video. I know other people have had this. Uh, these, this engine tends to leak a lot. So there's a bunch of little areas that you can check and this is just one of the most common ones. So yeah, I just thought I'd make a quick little video showing y'all symptoms of a vacuum pump leak and what you can do to fix it. Uh, the part itself was like 150 bucks. You can get it online, install three to four hours of labor if you, uh, so I'd do it yourself or take it to a shop. But yeah, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Hey guys, one quick announcement. So I know this isn't a full install video. It's mainly just a diagnostic to try to help you guys, but I will link the part of where to purchase it below. And then I will also link a video that I watched that explained the install process much better than I could um, with actually showing you like what they did and how they did.